Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Brooke and I'm currently eight months pregnant. I'm gonna be doing a little nesting vlog since I have nothing ready for this baby. In three weeks, I'm full term since full term is at 37 weeks pregnant and I need to get stuff going. So I need to organize a whole dresser, I need to set the bassinet, I have to just do everything. And I honestly don't understand how I'm almost about to give birth because I feel like I just announced I was pregnant and I feel like I just found out I was pregnant yesterday. So, also the fact that it's literally about to be November, what is happening? Also, I don't mind how I look because I did not have motivation today to get ready. And for some reason, my chin is just like extremely dry. So, that's what I'm dealing with now with all this weather change. This is a dresser that we picked up for the baby. And on top of it, I just have a candle, a lamp, some clothes, and a baby Amazon registry box. It, we have absolutely nothing. Like, there's just nothing. Here's the rocking chair next to the dresser, but I have to get a plant or something for right here. And then this is my huge lamp, which just is so bright because it's extremely dark outside. That's what we're working with right now. So I have to fill up the whole entire dresser. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys what I got on my Amazon registry thing. Was this cute little registry bag. I have the baby bass in it right over in that corner. It's been in that corner for probably like three or four weeks now. Right here, we got this Easy Start Anti-Colic Comfort Plus Pacifier. What the heck? It's a man bottle though. And I remember that they said man bottles are good for breastfed babies, which I'm breastfeeding again. So I don't know, but my first didn't really ever take bottles because I never really pumped with her unless I had to. A pacifier, a bunch of like sample things. So there's this Palmer's stuff, which I did use this with my first just because it's supposed to prevent stretch marks, but I really didn't even end up getting them anyway with her. So this time I said, I'm not even gonna put anything on my stomach and I've been perfectly fine. We have these milk storage bags of like random coupons also pads too this is a swaddle as heck? i always forget what everything's called when i'm pregnant like i literally don't remember anything when i'm pregnant it's so bad i lose my phone 20 times a day waddler zebra a onesie i think i have a dr brown's anti-colic bottle that's what i got in my cute little register thing okay now we're gonna start actually getting real and putting everything into the dresser <sighs> this is like kind of gonna be my downfall i think I should probably move this candle on the other side. This huge bag just full of baby stuff. It's really heavy. It's mixed with like a bunch of stuff. It's like clothes, pacifiers. What the heck else is there? Also, not to mention, I know a lot of people do with their first child. They just do like a lot of stuff. Like they buy so many things. I do that too. So, but since this is my second, I really want to be minimalistic with it. Also, I'm like, I can't breathe. So we just have like the basics clothes. I only have newborn zero to three right now because that's like all she can wear for a minute. So until I need to get bigger sizes, then I will. But also she's, but also with my first, she was in preemie for a month, which I know this baby's like bigger than her right now. So I don't think she'll be in preemie, but I do have a lot of newborn because I know newborn sizes is from like, I don't know, I don't know if it's seven or eight, but it's from like eight pounds or something to like 12. And my baby's probably not gonna be born at eight pounds. <laughs> But that's everything that's in this bag right now. So like I said, for a second, I was trying to be really minimalistic. So I don't have like a bajillion like hair soaps. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you guys how many lotions and soaps I had for my first. I was like, why do I need all this? And now I have like three because I just know I'm not going to need all of it. Now I'm like, should I even do this right now? <laughs> like stuff that's bigger like this. I'm just gonna throw in here for now because I know that I'm not even gonna use that for a minute and I don't have to set that up in the dresser. The majority of these clothes are washed, but some things that are bigger or I know that I'm not gonna have her wear right away, I didn't have them washed yet. So I'm just gonna set those to the side just because I like to wash everything just in case like, I don't know, people's hands touch it and it's like, no. Literally, look at how cute. These are newborn pajamas, and I was like, she's wearing these on Christmas because she's supposed to be born three weeks before Christmas. Right? I'm gonna put like pajamas here, and I think on the dresser, I'm gonna put clothes, clothes. Love this one so much too. Look how cute it is. A little gap bodysuit, like, are you joking? The whole bag is full of like hair brushes, diaper cream, hair stuff. And I also have this breast pump in here, but this is literally just one. I have to get the other one. I don't know why I only have one.
So I have this stuff separated. This is all onesies and like long sleeves. And then this is all pants. We have socks. These are all pajamas. And then there's like all this just stuff in here. I just went and I got some diapers and wipes out of the closet because I'm gonna fill up the first like drawer with them. We got a bunch of diapers and wipes and stuff from the baby showers. So I'm happy about that. And I am doing newborn. I know a lot of people say don't do newborn, but my daughter was a newborn for like three months of her life. So I think I'll be fine. <laughs> I started filling up the drawers. Now that I'm done dying over how small these are. water wipes which aren't my favorite favorite but the parents choice wipes are my 110 percent favorite so i'm just gonna put two in there just for now i'm only gonna put one little diaper rash cream thing aquaphor is my favorite or i really like the desitin one but aquaphor is usually the best so i'm just gonna put that in there and then i'll probably get a new desitin one and also put it in there but this is just a diaper drawer for now 100 percent sure what i'm gonna put in this jar but I'm thinking I'll probably do like socks. So since I don't have a sock thing, I'm just gonna throw them in here for now. And then when I get the sock bin, I'm gonna figure that out. And I'll also probably put like, like hair bows or some kind of thing in here. I just don't know right now. I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I know that there's long ones and short ones, but I think I'm just gonna like, I don't even know. I know a lot of people have them rolled like this or something. I don't know. It's not like my favorite, but I think I'm going to try it out and just see. I just have a few more to put in, but I'm like running out of room. <laughs> like onesies and stuff, and then these are more bigger. There's some in the back too, but they're like sweaters. So a little bit bigger ones, but I think it looks super cute. Also, in the top one, I put all the white onesies. We do have to get some more, so just socks and white onesies for now. But I feel like that looks pretty good. I have just like a decent amount. And I think I'm just gonna put them in like this, just because I could just go through them. But they're all super cute and tiny. And then if we do we'll end up needing more pants, because we have like a lot of neutrals, then I'll get more. But I feel like we'll probably be fine for now. And also a lot of them go with different sets. Like these pants don't get one. These pants don't get one.
pajamas drawer is done. And then we have this drawer. I think in this drawer is where I'm just gonna put all the random stuff for now. And then when I get little bins, I'll figure that out. Right, this is kind of a weird angle, but I do have a lot of blankets, receiving blankets, fluffy blankets, whatever. I have a whole entire bag full of them in my daughter's closet right now. So I have to wash them and I'm gonna use them too. So I really didn't get any new blankets or anything just because I have like literally 50 blankets. Yeah, I have like this M1 breast pump, which I've heard pretty good things about. So I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna put random stuff in here. Like these are the washcloths. So when I do the bath thing, then I have them in there. I just have like a bunch. Yeah, safety kit. Which I might wind up putting in here, but I'm not sure. But like I said, I'll figure all that out. I'm just gonna like throw this crap in here. Get a little pacifier thingy. And then all of this stuff. A different lamp for on top of here. And I'm gonna do that today because we're actually gonna go to Home Goods. And then here we're gonna have the changing pad. I actually ordered it, so it's gonna come in the mail. And then we have to get some kind of like painting to go above this because it's super like bare. First drawer, we have the diapers. I put the mannequin in here and the wipes. This one is gonna be socks and white onesies. I have to get little shelves, little storage things for them, like I said. This one is pajamas. This one's all the onesies and like everything like that. This one's random. Again, like I said, I have to figure that out. And then this one is pants, which we're gonna get more. I have to get like black ones. The bassinet, I'm probably not gonna set up today. I'm probably gonna do that a different day, like closer when I get birth. And I also have to do my hospital bag. I have to order all the stuff for my hospital bag. So I'm gonna do my hospital bag in like two weeks or so. I'm excited to have this cute little area. But we're gonna get a big mirror, like an arch one. Like I said, painting or something up here. And then I wanna get a little table thing here or like a plant or something. Cause this is the rocking chair that I'm gonna be in when I'm breastfeeding and putting her to sleep. I basically everything figured out. Car seat's coming. Like, it's actually getting real this time, so. If you guys enjoyed my little nesting video, I'm probably gonna do a part two of nesting when we actually do set the bassinet and get the change table and I have all the bins and everything to actually set up the stuff. So that will probably be coming within like the next week because I just really wanna get everything ready right before Thanksgiving. Like, it's literally about to be Halloween in two days and I just... I literally can't process. I literally found I was pregnant April 5th <laughs> and it's almost my due date. Like my due date's the beginning of December. So what the heck? Enjoy this video. What's wrong? No, you want that? No. She's hungry. Have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next no, video. We post on Mondays and Fridays. Bye guys.